when to be focusing your AP on raids or lottos? This is a question that truly, if you are asking this question, the answer is probably lotto over a raid because raids aren't something you just farm to farm. You do them for a reason, whether that reason is XP or, or XP is only sometimes, but whether it's for like the map drops, getting QP on the side, or you are farming for a very specific material. They aren't for, you have a shit ton of AP. Let me just burn through this a bunch of times. No, 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 no. Each raid has a very specific drop and you should not feel pressured that you have to farm a raid. Otherwise it's never going to get done. It will get done. The devs are going to make sure it gets done. There's not going to be any penalties because it doesn't get done. They're just going to kill it off. Easy, easy answer. Does it, the story is not going to stop because we didn't kill a raid boss. The bot, like the event isn't going to just stop because we don't finish it. It will, it will keep going. You will the event will continue going and the raid bosses will die, especially because this is a rerun and the bosses are going to go way, way faster. Before the original run had 3 million. We have half that. I'm going to be streaming like me killing this raid boss on its launch because I needed a day off from work anyway. And this is honestly just an excuse for me to do it. Yesterday, definitely after yesterday, definitely need a day off. So let me really first, let me explain what a lotto and what a raid is. A lottery is something like this narrow fest. We just had this. You have not everyone. There's two different types. You have like the festival one lottos and then the Christmas ones. Festivals. Sorry. Have three different uh, three different sets of nodes so you can get a whole bunch of apples just by running through them. And you pretty much first the first set of nodes are really just to get the drops and then part two and three are more you're actually farming the drop rate for part one is actually a lot lower than two or three so you should unless the node is super super easy for you like you can run six slot on the hardest difficulty for you then you should just wait for another uh wave it, it makes NA having clairvoyance so much easier because they don't change these nodes. They're always the same. While JP, they might have the easiest farming node in wave two, and they they hold off on doing it because, oh, wave three is going to be better for efficiency. And then it turns out wave three has one of the most annoying six slot ever, and you just regret everything. The rewards you get from a lotto are extensive along with these fests having challenge quests too. Don't worry too, too much on these. Like it's no one likes doing these during a lotto. They should be like universally. It's agreed like the challenge quest should come out the week before the actual lottery. So people have actual time to do it and not when they're like hardcore farming. In lotteries, you get a whole, all of these mats per box. Usually most of the requirements are get 10 boxes done. So just here, all this times 10. And then after that, all of this times 10 for every box. You should not be completing a lotto box unless you fully get all the materials. If you don't get all the materials, every box loses value even these first 10 don't even the first 10 boxes of any lotto don't just skip it just to move on to the next box you're missing out on so much stuff because you get you do get ap and you get qp shouldn't be skipping them especially if not the first 10 boxes afterwards like you lose out on a good amount of ap at, but i still would be full, uh, fully doing the boxes now 
Christmas lottos are a little different. Uh, there's only one set of nodes, and they, and unlike this, which opens all the nodes all at once, Christmas nodes do one per day like a normal event. You gotta, and as a warning for this year, this Christmas lotto is literally the shortest. We get 10 days to do it, and then a raid. You are not like that is a lotto where you have to you really actually do have to be like farming as much as you can every day even if it's not efficient if you want the final nodes to actually be efficient the day they come out and be able to farm that a lot you're gonna need the ce's as soon as possible uh another thing about lottery lotteries is unless you're like fully running the max ce's your results are gonna completely be rng based on how many of these you have. You want to have as many of these as possible and as many of them MLB'd as possible. You refine them so they get the full benefit. Getting MLB'ing this at the start is probably the worst mistake you can possibly do because now all of you don't get as many boxes. I know party cost goes up, but you have to be running this. Otherwise, uh, the number of runs you have to do per box increases dramatically getting uh using this as an example getting every lotto uh yeah, yeah every one of these that drops gets increased by the amount you have so turning three per drop into 15 per drop dramatically increases or dramatically decreases how many runs you actually have to do per box you save AP and you basically just double, triple. I mean, hey, that depending on some people, quadruple how fast you're getting lottery boxes done. You, the stronger your account, the easier a lotto is. Being able to start with zero, different setups, le uh, less required to use certain units. Back to Christmas though. You have to kind of be playing as much as you can each day. And then Christmas, it is only 10 days. It's not a full two weeks because we're going right into Koyan raids this year. Because of how much stuff Alari gives you, it's worth it unless you're grinding for something very specific. If you need XP, you should not be doing lotto boxes just for XP. Wait for half AP and then just go farm those nodes because extreme nodes might drop nine per but if they're 20 ap you'd be getting 18 five star mats instead of one box or a third of a box worth of whatever you get because you just don't get a whole lot of XP per box in comparison to what we already can farm. I, I'm actually not sure if just a normal XP run would give more than a lotto box by itself, even without the half AP. Like, I don't know if nine uh, five star CEs is more or less than this together, not off the top of my head. If you need QP, this is if three boxes gets you the full four mil, like again, run a QP node and you can get I get five mil for each of the extreme nodes. So if I'm waiting to, for a 20 a half off AP, I can basically get a whole box worth in a sixth of the cost. Now, if you the main reason for farming lottos for me personally, though, is these mats. Do I need a lot of these? And for these bronze mats, yeah, you need a lot. You're not going to want to. Um, and not only do you get the drops from the actual nodes themselves, so you can tailor what you're running based on the drops. Like if you need dragon scales, hey, just run this. I'm pretty sure I did that with um, two caster. And I used Kukaster for almost this entire lottery. Uh, and he literally yesterday just hit bond 10. Um, yeah. 
So TLDR, lotto, lottos are for when you have a whole bunch of shit to do. The other potential reason to want to wait for a lotto is if you're 120 a unit. And even then at this current point of time, I don't think that's the best time to do it. The best time is when you have both half AP, half QP, and a success rate going on. Anything, like if you get three or more times success rate there, you should, if you want a 120, that should be the best time you're doing it. Because if you can get three times the value of all your XP, why wouldn't you want to do it then? over having to literally farm three times as much. Uh, oh, sorry. Another aspect is the friend point and mana prison. We like, like I said with, uh, in the other video, uh, you, we're going to have a success rate campaign going on, uh, very soon for NA that comes with the 24 million downloads, which is probably not even going to be that. Uh, it might get bumped down to like another campaign or like 21 and kind of have been shifting uh, what exactly the campaign is numbered. Just because NA doesn't have as much interest as the JP's uh, population. That's how it is. Mana prisms and friend points. You can farm a whole bunch of this. In fact, people stock up millions of qp i have like six million on my main from a lotto there you don't consciously friend uh farm friend points like they have a whole bunch of uh times two friend paint uh friend point campaigns that go on like all the time for fgo but almost no one is farming them no one is like actively going for them just because doing a lotto just makes more sense it's just a bonus these two and also like once you get to a certain point, you can just start burning these and you add 40 to the mana prisms. So if you need a whole lot of mana prisms, again, a lotto is a really good time to do it. But here's the thing. If you need mana prisms, you sh should also wait for a half AP campaign because doing the 15 uh, AP cost and then burning every CE that you get that's below four star should net you about the same amount of material as this. Assuming you have the max drop rate and you're able to farm boxes like three AP a run gets you a box. All of all of what I'm saying is assuming you have the best possible drop rate for like how much the AP is worth it. If you are like, if you barely have any lotto CEs at all, or you MLB'd and you're just going from there, you really should just be waiting for a half AP campaign. Like focus your efforts on that. If you're not going all in on a lotto, you're not going to get the kind of return you see from uh, more experienced players because they know what they're doing. They know how to do lottos. So again, lottos, save all the C's you can get, run it as many times as you want. Uh, unless you really know what you're doing, you shouldn't be like saying, oh, I'll do a hundred, uh, I'll do like 300 boxes. It, like most people that do 300 boxes have accounts that can run these nodes in like minutes and like get literally boxes in three runs. Enough trying to scare you off a lotto though. Like these are just like good times to get a whole bunch of stuff. The newer your account is, the more you need to do a lotto. Because also when you're a newer account and you're leveling up so much, you have so much AP that you don't have to worry about using apples, spending state courts or anything. You can just keep going until you kind of stop being able to run them without having to like really start popping apples like crazy. Like. These are like, especially if you need these, if you need uh, skill gems, lottos are literally the best possible place to get them because I'm bringing up the drop sheet right now. 
um some if you are not farming the extreme nodes which haven't even come out on na you need to do about four ex expert nodes or the current training ground nodes in order to possibly get one one of these to drop A I know for a, a fact a lot of people that don't do lottos are almost always struggling on these mats. If you don't have any of these secret gems, you can't ascend your units or level up their skills past level like uh, five or six. You need to do a lotto. You will just get so many of these. And even if you're not super efficient with how many runs you're doing, it can't be worse than doing four runs to just to get one of them over doing like five runs to get all seven, right? Like, yeah, you could get lucky. You definitely could get lucky while running the expert nodes right now on NA. But you shouldn't like, that is such a waste of AP. And we get training grounds half off, half off way less than we get anything else. Like you will see QP, especially the uh, XP nodes on half off way more than you'll see training grounds. So enough about renting about lotteries. Let's talk about raids. If you know you have to do a raid, you are trying to either ascend a unit and their mat drop rate is horrible. I'm talking about these gold mats specifically. I'm looking at the drop sheet again. And for most of them, it is a 12% drop rate. That means eight runs you have to do on requests. Sometimes you'll get more. A lot of the time you'll get less. There is no guarantee that you'll actually get them to drop. That is why a raid is good because these are mats that aren't in lottos. You have to buy them from shops half the time. If you get them to drop, Cool, but most people plan around them just buying them out of the shop or farming a node that they have to do for a event anyway. For example, dragon scales don't drop that often. Uh oh, this is wrong. Uh, this is main quest. Look. Ah, we don't get a, a lot of these that often anymore. I think Cadrot said it. Um. I wasn't playing during that time, so I'll take his word for it. Uh, they used to have these like all the time uh, to be farmed, and now they don't anymore as the game progressed. So it's a rare mat to have. People would want to farm this node specifically for this, even though it might not be the most efficient. They'd be getting, they'd be farming this and getting all this other stuff anyway. Uh, and usually the drop rate for the highest difficulty is higher than what it would be if you just farmed a quest. That's what raids are for. They are to farm for mats that have usually abysmal drop rates. As you can see here, you also get QP. So, and you get these gems too. So, they're not... I don't want to say they're like a lottery in value like that. But they do have lotto like value. You can farm it really quickly and get a lot of stuff at the same time. But they're very specific on what mat you can get. You should not just be doing every random raid. Because say you have 500 of a mat and none of your units use it. Why would you spend all your AP to get more of that mat over going for a different mat? Eggs are the most in one of the most in demand uh, gold mat in the game because some of the best units all need this. All almost all of them need this. That came out uh, post Lost Belt Four and even in the Appends too. Mostly, it, yeah, yeah, a lot of the Appends, espe uh, especially for units that have thirty percent battery, need eggs. It they lock people's farming ability behind these eggs. So people need to farm a whole lot of them to be able to farm with their some of their favorite units in a good manner. Also, the bond you get from the higher difficulty raids is better. Oh, right. Sorry, I actually did forget about this. So every raid usually has different difficulties. 
always try to do the one that says a higher level always it like because even if it takes longer you get more stuff the rewards are straight up better drop rates are probably higher and you honestly kind of it is more fun you just get to see big damage numbers but i really get it especially if you're in your account you can't really output 600 uh thousand damage that's why uh the event comes with a damage bonus it's so even accounts that aren't as strong to be able to start from zero and just kill bosses like this are actually able to clear it in a good timely manner but you have to actively be aware of why you are farming this don't just over farm it because you're just wasting ap at a certain point i need a shit ton of all these mats but there is no way i'm actually gonna have enough time to farm all my needs it's just not possible can't burn that ap quick enough number one number two the bosses are gonna die and then i can't farm it anymore number three if i just go on autopilot like that or even worse i because i have some of my mats calc already for how much i actually need uh because i use the calbe app just occasionally update it when i when i eh, whenever i feel like it just to see how many mats i'm actually gonna need uh some of those mats are lock locked behind other mats so why am i farming for mats i can't even upgrade yet because i'd have to go farm more for something else i and if it's not done now and i'm not like actively looking for it i probably don't even care that much about the skill because some of those i just have uh what mats I need to like fully max out a character, not necessarily uh, all the skills that I want to level, just all the skills in general. So I have big costs for skill for things I'm probably not even gonna buy for a while. Truly, if you are at a point where you don't know whether you need a lotto or a raid, you probably just need a lotto at that point. Ra raids are more for people that actually know what they're farming for they are stuck on a skill they need to they're just gonna farm this raid boss real quick uh or like for a little while they'll get what they need then they dip out and that truly is it uh na has clairvoyance we know when stuff is coming out this next four months uh actually someone said that uh case files of el malloy uh like that rerun also has barbados raids hey so recording this in post what i was trying to say is next four months is or five really yeah next five months actually uh it's gonna be raid this month uh lotto in december raid in december almost immediately following and then guaranteed lottery in march be aware plan out your mats look out look up what you need uh and yeah just be a smart consumer don't waste ap on anything that you don't need okay yeah i don't want to make this video last longer uh but yeah that's the tldr you have to do your own due diligence look at your own account whether you want to waste the time on a lotto or a raid just farm whatever you need don't say don't let anyone say you have to farm this you're wasting your time if you don't do that don't take them 100 percent seriously they're saying hyperbole you don't need to do anything you don't need to farm anything it's more if you want to get stuff done now and not wait two years to get it done or go at a snail's place pace this is, lottos and raids are you stepping going from walking to school to taking a train to school one of them you're gonna get there eventually but one takes seriously less time to do than the other and less active energy all right i'm gonna get out of here uh 
this video is going to come out later just because I have to put a little more effort in this one than the last video that just went out. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.